Yeah, guys, we back with some more gameplay, and this is the final two out of two gameplay of 2023. Today is New Year's, so happy New Year's, man, but I want to make sure I get this video out so it won't be, like, outdated or nothing like that. So, anyway, we got Tony G with us, who is freaking amazing in this game. What's crazy, I haven't really connected with him a lot as far as, like, the dude stats is crazy, but we haven't really had a chance to really go crazy with this man, but... I believe in this gameplay, you'll see a lot of Tony Gonzalez. There you see, we got Bill Fralick. And I told y'all, this Chris Hinton dude, he's supposed to have this freaking ability. I, I mention this every single video. Stronger blocking from all offense alignment. But it seemed like it doesn't work. It seems like it, I was blocking better before I even put this on. It's crazy how EA does that type of stuff. And I told y'all, we got Trent Brown. We used to have John Madden right here. Um, still the same team, CP, everybody, defense. Uh, we still got. Ken Riley, even though I just saw that debacle last video, Night Train Lane, maybe and hopefully we'll upgrade our corners. Patrick Peterson is still cool, but maybe he is outdated as well because I believe he only has 86 speed, if I'm not mistaken. 86 speed, but he's boosted to 93, man. So he doesn't have 95, but he has 90 zone, 82 press. He's still great for what he is, but speed at this point, especially when you got guys running around with Stephon Gilmore and slot. I know that sounds crazy, yes. Stephon Gilmore as a right receiver. I told y'all I do not like out of position cards, but let's go ahead and get into it, man. Let's go. Yo, guys, what is up? As you see, it's like lagging a little bit right here. We're going to get this dude named Base J. By the way, guys, I actually talked to this dude like towards the end of the game. At first, you know what I'm saying? He was talking trash, but then he actually been a, he ended up being a really good dude. Um, I, I told him straight up. I was like, I don't like your play style, man. I was like, but he was like, if you can't beat him, join him type stuff. But that's what he told me. But he said eventually he'll try to make some video stream on Twitch. So, yeah, bro, I got you shouting you out. Even though, bruh, I do not like how you play this game. But it's cool, man. Uh, as far as I don't really care what people do on defense. It's what they do on offense uh, for me. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do. But, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this gameplay. That's right here. Ugh, play action. Look at this. Look, look, look at Julio Jones. Why did he stop? And right here, we get a catch for Julio Jones. He was going on the route, and he stopped because I was about to throw over his head, and he went down to try to make me throw a pick. That's crazy. As Tony Gonzalez gets it to the mix right here, man. But, yeah. So, anyway, Michael Vick looking to pass. We trying to do something as we have to throw the ball away. Second and 10, two for three for Michael Vick, 16 yards. As right here, we try to throw it. You say you where? And here they go with that freaking bull crap. I had to pause the game right there, man. That junk freaking, like, made me so mad. And look at this right here. Look at this. Why are they turning Vic to the side? <laughs> you know, this game, there's nobody even on the left side of the field. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, this game is freaking nuts. That's right there. They lag me for some reason with Deron Payne as he makes a tackle. Andrew Luck looking to pass. And he's caught. <laughs> Bro, I can't believe this game, man. And it's caught by freaking CP 30-13. 30 13. The defense is playing great. We're doing good. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I like to see. You know, we came out. We had to, you know, kick the ball off and stuff like that. But we're right here as he's throwing it to CP. CP right here. And we, thankfully, we have Stonewall on Shaquille Leonard. But fourth and three. You know, this guy's going for it. No matter if he's on his 27 yard line or not, he's audible. He's moving people to the side. I guess he wants to, um, you know, with the more space on the side of the field. Let's see how it goes. Andrew Luck, of course, Stephon Gilmore is wide open. I told y'all I cannot stand out of position cards. And this card, specifically Stephon Gilmore, when they have him in a slot, the dude just goes crazy. I had a chance to get him, but I don't want him. As right there, they did not let us get the user pick. It would have been nice. Third and 10, he's looking to pass. And he holds on to that ball, even though he gets hit by two guys at the same time, freaking Caden Ellis and Jack Campbell. So fourth and five, but once again, First, it was a fourth down the last time just a few seconds ago, and now it's fourth and five once again. Let's go defense. You guys have been doing great. We just got to hold up as he's looking, and it's picked off by Jack Campbell. But look at Jack Campbell. Why is he going so slow? Look, look at this. I've never seen Jack Campbell run this slow at all since I had him, and I told y'all. I don't know what's up with that, man. I told you sometimes they speed other players up, and then they slow yours down. I don't like that. But the next play right here, we try to throw it to Kyle Pitts. But Richard Sherman activates. I don't know what he got on them, but he activates right there. As we hand off the CP, CP on the right side of the field. And we get stopped right there by Julius Peppers. And anyway, 38. Michael Vick looking to pass. And yeah, 
the dude has Tyreek Wool in his safety, and I didn't realize that otherwise I wouldn't have threw it. So, yeah, I was like, okay, cool. You know, it's just a safety right there. We can go ahead and dot him up, free form pass to Odell, but he put a cornerback at safety. So, I'm all, here we go. I was talking about his offense, not on defense. It's like, all right, here we go with this, huh? So, anyway, as he dunks it off to CP, and Palomalo just misses that. He jukes the whole team. The Jack Campbell cleans him up first and 10. So, as you see, it's still 0-0. Zero to zero. The defense is still doing nice. As right there, we finally get a sack without the animation of them just throwing the ball up by Terry Tate right there. And we almost get a sack by Calais Campbell. But there's the animation I was just talking about as the dude gets a handoff right there with perfect blocking. I don't know what the heck is up with that. But I believe that was third down as well. First and 10, the dude does the same play, perfect blocking. But thankfully, Terry Tate is able to die for him right there. So anyway, CP gets another handoff. And Troy Palomalo. Almost tackles him before the first down, but he gets the first down. Next play, first and 10. Somehow, ugh, good stuff right there. Night train lane with a knockout. Thankfully, he knocked the ball out because that's rare for some reason nowadays with his knee. But second and 10, we try to knock the ball out like in the previous videos. But even though it was three guys, four guys that was on him, we couldn't get the ball knocked out. And somehow he dodged me up right there between his eyes. Freaking insane. First and 10 for us. We're looking to pass on Michael Vick. Ugh. We try to catch that, but it gets knocked out by Richard Sherman. Good coverage by him. As right there, we're looking at all this dude's abilities. And y'all remember this play from last video. I'm like, okay, cool. Let's try to get this play up here. Nice freaking dot right there to Kyle Pitts on freaking Mike Evans and Tyreek Wool. And that was freaking amazing. And I was like, yo, that's what I like to see. That's how we know that we know what the heck we're doing. Second and 12 is 0-7 to seven right now. I'm trying to see what we got going on. This dude is playing some crazy coverage right now. And we're looking to scramble, and we try to, you know, playmaker that dude up so we get some leeway. And it looked like it was over the first down, but 30 inches. Uh, we get the hand off right there to CP as he tries to knock the ball out of me, too. This man got every out of position player. But he also said he was no money spent as well, which is insane to think about. Um, but I'm not, I told you, I don't like, I don't like out of position. I don't like it at all. It breaks the game. It doesn't make sense. As we throw a dot right there to CP over Richard Sherman as C, uh, CP. Like, just completely bodies him as Sherman is activating. And that was kind of a glitchy celebration right there. Good stuff. Nice celebration. I think that was Bill, Bill Freilich he celebrated with. And that was just clean. That was nice. Look at that possession catch. Uh, that's what I like to see. Nice animation. No double. Oh, he tried to pick the ball up and swat it and dive ball at the same time. For some reason, they be making guys when I play against them do like a swat, a pick, and a freaking tackle animation all at once. Uh, <laughs> I always say that when I play against Drew, like they give him double animation. They be giving some guys triple animations as he's doing the RPO. Now I'm like, okay, here we go. The defense has been doing great. Now he's going to RPO. As you see, we knock down his guy and we swat that ball right there with Nitro Lane. Good stuff. So second and 10, the defense is playing great once again. Swat by Patrick Peterson. It would be nice if we were able to click on and pick the ball off, but we was using him with Caden Ellis. Right there, Larry Fitzgerald hanging to the ball. Nine seconds to go, fourth and fourth for him. As he goes for it on another fourth down, like I said, the defense is playing amazing, man, but he keeps converting the fourth down. He understands how the game is, and he takes the field goal, which is insane to think about. So many fourth downs so far in this game, and he converts it. So first and 10, as he's dunking it off to Randy Moss. I don't know which Randy Moss he had, but it's second and one. 12 for 20 in the interception for this guy, and he's going to the left side of the field as we try to strip it with Caden Ellis, man. Let's go. Andrew Luck is looking to pass, and somehow Stephon Gilmore, that man, is wide open. Eddie Terrell was on him, by the way. Uh, it would be nice if he gets into the car, but I highly doubt he's going to get one after that game yesterday against DJ Moore. So, anyway, even though he's been deserved one, it's funny how DJ Moore ended up getting the car after that game as well. He got that car before that game even played. But anyway, as he's throwing it, we try to swat it out, but he holds up to the ball. Stephon Gilmore. It's freaking dusting my freaking defense as it's 7 to 17. As we're juking right here with CP. But I believe that's, is that Darren Wilson? Okay, right now we hand off to CP. CP left side of the field. CP, oh, I thought he was going to click on, so we try to go inside, but he uh, clicked off. So 7 to 17 right now. Ugh. As we hand off to CP, CP on left side of the field. Nice block by uh, Prentice as we juke the freaking mess out of Mike Evans. I told y'all I freaking hate that car. And guess what time it is? It's a touchdown. What's crazy? I don't know if this guy was a giant spin or not. But if you really think about it, he has a lot of Falcons. I just realized he had a lot of Falcons on the team with Tony Gonzalez, CP. Um, I think he has somebody else too. But anyway, it's 14 to 17, two plays. It was at 85 yards. 
Andrew Luck, Andrew EA Luck is looking to pass and is caught over in the middle of the field. We had uh, put Ed Reed in the slot right there in, in zone. And for some reason, as you see, we was right there to tackle him, but he just stood there like an idiot, Ken Riley. And as he's dunking it off to CP right here, and Troy Palomalo misses another freaking tackle, man. I don't know what's up with him. As he's doing that little stretch RPO play once again, we well, you know how to stop it, but it's like when you don't freaking cover it, that's when they do something enough. And when you do cover it, they don't throw it that way. So it's kind of frustrating as he's doing some weird route. And somehow, some way, CP hands onto that ball, even though Chuck Palomalo meets him immediately. And of course, going back to RPO, like I told y'all, he's cool. He was a cool dude, man. But come on, man. Like, this is the type of stuff I'll be talking about. RPO, uh, 14 to 24. Yeah. Anyway, second and two, play action. We're looking for this man, Tony Gonzalez. Tony G gets a nice freaking first down right there. Next play. Oh, we headed off. I don't know how his defensive line was doing that. Deron Payne is nice, but if you notice, he does not have any abilities on his defense alignment. But we're supposed to have stronger blocks blocking on the entire offensive line, and they already have good stats as we try to throw it up to Larry Fitzgerald. But Sherman knocks that out for Larry Fitzgerald. Michael Vick looking to pass. And look who it is, Tony Gonzalez. We noticed if he was covering the other guy, this, this dude should be wide open. And Tony Gonzalez is wide open, so now it's 21-24. to 24. As for some reason, Jack Campbell is jogging like he was tired, like he's been doing the whole game for some reason. As the dude is going back to that little RPO stretch thing right there. So he recovering it on the other side so that he gets the handoff. And Jack Campbell is right there, second and eight. He's doing the same thing once again. And for some reason, we cannot catch him this time. He just goes the opposite way. And it's first and 10. 11 rushes for 85 yards for CP. As he goes to the same play once again. But good stuff by, I believe that was Aaron Donald. Or Deron Payne. Finally, Shaquille Leonard activates his no outsiders. And good stuff. Third and 14. As right here, we get a sack. Now it's fourth and 25. 21 and 24. But I told you this guy understands the freaking game. Somehow he ends up making the catch. Huh? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me as I pause the game. And this is actually when I started talking to him. Uh, He was like, yeah, go ahead and leave. And I'm looking like, dude. Why are you talking trash when you're playing like this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just really being like, who the heck talks trash when you're playing like this? But like I said, he's cool. He's a good dude. But come on, bro. Like, I, I don't respect nobody doing that. He, he, he said I was a good player. He was like, yeah, he respected stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to follow me. So shout out to you, dude. But, man, I ain't, with, I ain't with this type of gameplay at all. But I want to make sure I get this out here. Uh, they shout it out. But it's, if y'all play people online, this is pretty much what you're going to pair up against. That's right there. Somehow he hangs onto that pass as well. So it was 21 to 31. We hand out the CP right here. And look, the next play, I told you they like the cater. And there's a strip right there from CP. And you know what time it is. As we try to strip him right back, but Tony his other things on. I don't I don't know if you have a uh, conservative on. Somehow Stefan Gilmer gets wide open once again. And that is a touchdown. It is 21 to 38 at CP. Right here, we get the kid return. Thankfully, he holds up to the ball. Next play right here, Michael Vick. I knew Tony Gonzalez was going to be wide open once again. And Tony G on the right side of the field. But look who it is, Mike Evans, hulking him down. And we're on the one-yard line. And look, one-yard line. Ugh, we try to do it like that. But, oh, we can't freaking get it. Even though it's perfect accuracy. Perfect accuracy, by the way, to uh, Odell Beckham Jr. But you all know what? It's perfect accuracy. Crazy stuff happens. So, anyway, even though it's perfect, it's not perfect. So, that, that's how they do it. So anyway, next play, second and goal. We're trying to audible a little bit. We're trying to see if Julio Jones can get a thing. But Mike Evans is all over it. As we're trying to throw right here, he's coming down. He's he going left. We try to throw it up. But he swats that out of Julio Jones. Mike Evans is on Julio Jones. As we throw it right here, thankfully, CP was able to go up for it. Good stuff right there. And now it is 27 to 38. And we have to kick this field goal. With Grammatica, Grandma Cita, and I think it's in there. And then it's 28 to 38, man. I'm trying to tell you, the defense has been doing so good, but there's so many fourth downs, so many RPOs as we try to strip that man right there once again, but it did not work. We even put aggressive strip on, and it still did not work. Um, as right there, we try to strip it, but it did not work once again. So it is 28 to 38. Andrew EA Luck, I thought I had to pick, but he clicked on at the perfect time. And dude just bouncing off everybody. And now his QB is immune to pressure once again. 
as he yeah. throws over the top and he yeah. hangs on to it, even though it's a heat stick for, yeah. by a 92 tackle yeah. with Jesse Bates. He still hangs on to it, and Ken Riley cannot get over there. And it's a dot to no yeah. other than Stephon Gilmore. So it's 28 to 45. Yeah. I know he was going to leave Tony Gonzalez wide open once again because he was running the same formation, same play. And that was the hole in the defense. So let's get it. We throw it up right here to Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, and look who it is, Tony Gonzalez. Let's freaking go, man. Good stuff. Um, I feel like we could have won this game. The defense pretty much did what they needed to do, in my opinion. But if you fourth down, fourth down, fourth down, another fourth down, then you're throwing some RPOs. Hey, man, it's only so much that you can do, man. Uh, like I said, shout out to him. Eventually, whenever he makes a Twitch or YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all can tell him yourself. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, this was the final game of 2023 that I played. And so, yeah. So, I've been chilling with family and stuff like that. So, anyway, hopefully, we can bring in the new year, even though these videos are coming out New Year's Day. Hopefully, this comes out New Year's Day. Hopefully, when we start playing in the new year, we can be better, but freaking look at this dude. Andrew Luck, 417 yards, six touchdowns, one interception. He was four for one. CP, 111 yards. And look, Tony Gonzalez, 232 yards. So it's not like we was bones, but it, it's crazy, man. It, it's just crazy to think about. Um, as you see what, what's going on right here, Tyree Woolen, dude had him at free safety. Mike Evans, Night Train Lane, all of that. See y'all in the next one, man. I appreciate y'all. Happy New Year once again. Let's go. <laughs> Our special guests, D Block here too, baby. I promise y'all, we're gonna treat y'all every week. Let's do it. We came from foreign lands to please the Falcons fans. Arriving in backpacks on his brother's back. Now he's in the spot with my dog, D Block. Friday afternoon, hanging with the block, hanging with the block, up in the spot, with my dog the block. Hey, that's it. Hey, block. Hey, with the block. Hey, the block. Then I say keep playing, man. I say keep playing, man. Get D block. We going down the hill. Get D block. Keep playing. Get D block. Out.